Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match between Razzlestorm and Yaxter. In the booth with me is Fymir and Purple Chest. Hello! Hello! Hola! Hello, hello, hello. What a game we have in store. Um, a real, uh, really interesting matchup. You don't tend to see this a lot. Uh, we have two human variants here, of course, with uh, Slan the frogs wearing their Kislev skin and bringing a bear to the table. Uh, and also, for some reason, Willow. Um, this not yeah. Willow, is there? This is this is Hemlock. Oh, Hemlock! No, no Willow. Hemlock. Yeah. Um, and uh, and then on the opposite side, we have Amazons, who uh, you don't tend to see a lot of deep into chalices. Coming with an enormous amount. I mean, about as good as an Amazon team's going to get. An enormous amount of guard, a lot of stand firm, some mighty blow. A little bit lacking in the tackle, which is probably why Hemlock uh, was a choice there. You often see a lot more tackle on Amazons, just because they don't have a lot more options. Now we have three tackle. It's, 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 he's done a lot of TV here, Yak, isn't he? He's got a wizard, yep. and a bib, and Hemlock. Yeah. Well, and Hemlock, of course, uh, really, really nice against uh, AV7. The stab can be all sorts of brutal there. Oh, he, he, we're seeing a Yaka. <laughs> There you go, there you go, the magic is happening. <laughs> In leap, we believe. Well, Amazon's not one of the stronger teams. He should be able to buy himself certainly two or three turns this way. <laughs> I the way, the Amazons have four tackle. I think that's more than enough tackle. Okay, one, two. Oh, yeah, no, I had missed the ones on the LOS. You're right. Okay, well, Hemlock will be yeah. interesting then. He could be hunted down. Especially because. Jack has two dodge. Yeah. Three, and three, three dodge. Three. Yeah, three when you count Hemlock. It was blood step. And Jack with uh, a very heavy team. Uh, we should check if there's a bench. And there is. Despite the number of loners because of Hemlock, of course. He brings 12 to the field. Yep. Amazon's very, very deep on the bench with 14. And there is another tackle in the bench for the Amazons. Oh, do we like this, Jim? Mm -hmm. I mean... It's very difficult to get a lot of good change out of hitting the bear, isn't it? There's no one else to hit, is there? You couldn't. You'd have to GFI to hit somebody else. So I and mean, I don't. I'm not worried about the flanks. I don't think the Kislev are going to try and come past him this turn. So coming all down the centre is fine. I guess going for the bear is okay. But... Yes, coming straight down the throat. And it does isolate that loner. Who now has to do two three pluses to get out? I don't think he's going to make them, but Jack is trying to predict anything he does is madness. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Everything he does is madness. <laughs> that is a fact. He doesn't blitz this guy. He could have blitzed this line on yeah, and would have had the lead. And made it a single him. three plus out. That's what I, exactly what I was expecting. But it looks like I'm entirely wrong, and he is going for the space upper flank this turn. Mm. He has to say there is a player of Hail, Hail Mary pass. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, with with having cats makes sense. Yeah, yes. you know, you want to go mental, you know, with a crazy skill. Hail Mary pass can be, you know, the kind of epic play. I yeah, mean, you, can, you can pump a couple of your catches down into the backfield and throw a hail mary, and you know, there's a, they've got reasonable coverage between two of them with yeah. diving catch. It's it's still not something I would be planning on doing. But it, it, it's a good clutch play. It's a good out option. If the shit has completely hit the fan and your ball is randomly on your Hail Mary Pass guy or he, your Hail Mary Pass guy can randomly find himself at the ball when the shit has hit the fan, then yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a guy yeah, that. Of, once in a lifetime play, the one you dream about, you know, one day, yeah, one day. This is the hemlock attack, isn't it? Yeah, sure. As I said, I, I don't really fear stab if I'm rolling with AV9, but against AV7 it can do some things, and hemlock can get lots of places. Yeah, I don't even like stab against armor 9. Like The, the fact that it's like free, they're free rolling with it, it's very annoying. And, oh, he's not? He's not wait, what? Whoa. Look, he's got, he's got one yeah. there already. Okay, this one's going in. Okay. <laughs> What? <laughs> I still like getting him to here. Though. I like, I like putting some there. No, I like this. This is a, a stand firm. That oh, I thought we were going to put the stand firm right in on the ball, mm -hmm. but we've uh, we've shored up the wing with it. I mean, that's pretty strong too. 
Yeah, I, I like sh I like showing up the wing, which is why I was gonna do that with him and then blitz with the other one. But yeah, it worked out all right. Yeah, nobody wants to stand next to jump up stand. Like I wouldn't, I, I don't without armor nine. I don't, I don't want to get stabbed with armor nine because it's just. It's horrible, and if it breaks armor and kills the player, it's absolutely humiliation. You know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but there's a five out of six times it doesn't break AV9, and then you just smack him in the face. Yeah, but then they can blitz you as well. I, I don't know. I just I really don't like giving up a stab, even with armor nine. I just think it's it is powerful, even though everyone mocks it. It's like it's really. I think it's really good stabbing. But, you know. Yeah, I think it's one of the huge missed opportunities of the new rule set. I would have. Um, I quite like the very small buff to assassins, um, but they're still terrible, and I still won't take them. But if you took two blitzers off me from Dark Elves, then I might have to. Um, or run with double witches without as much support, and that would make Dark Elves so much more fun. And so much riskier. And then High Elves could be buffed with a couple more blitzers and lose two catchers. Leaving Pro Elves as the only four catcher elves, which would give each of them a bit more uniqueness, I think. That is exactly what I've always said. <laughs> Well, there you are. They do say that fools never differ. <laughs> All right. It just it fits the fluff better, doesn't it? Like high elves yeah. always been like the heavy, the heavy elf. Absolutely. Uh, army. All these guys yeah. getting served. Yes, it would seem so. Nope. <laughs> and then dark elves would either have to use runners or two witches or assassins, probably, and that would make them yeah more fun, more interesting. Yeah, in the old days of the second edition, I think the Hallers were the only one of the very few teams with catches with a string three. So that was make them uh, special. A string three uh, catches moving eight. But now uh, there are Dima Dosh around. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing, wasn't it? Because they were lion warriors and, and they weren't catches. But then they made Proil catches and that just made no sense then. So they need to, they need to have a word with themselves. <laughs> But then, despite being a revolutionary at heart, Jim, that's what I felt the rules needed, was some good aggressive tweaks. Um, and instead, we had a, a major rewrite. Um, we'll see. You know, I need to play it. Yeah, it'd be good being able to play it, wouldn't it? I was really hyped to play it, but unfortunately, Blood oh, Bowl 3 seems... Blood Bowl 3 was just heartbreak. Yeah, it really, really was. There's a fumble beta coming very, very soon, but it's, um, it's still on the existing client, which I know isn't good for your eyes. The... Um, you know, the, the work on the new client, which would have been using Unity and full screen and much easier on people's um, predilections, although still not, you know, it wouldn't compete with this graphic. Um, obviously, it was halted to implement the Bibble 2020 stuff. Shame, shame, shame. Ooh, big cars. That is. He does our poet. Um, yep, so he's back for the next drive. So that was a big miss. He still filled another leap, yeah. <laughs> this is great. This is great Kislev here. I love to see Kislev failing leaps. Brings me joy. Sparks joy. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost don't know anyone that doesn't feel that. <laughs> and it's be, I think it's because you feel that on a 3+, plus they should really fail a lot. Yeah. And almost everyone's had games where they hardly ever seem to fail. And that is so annoying. Yeah, you so slightly forgive elves being able to do everything on a two, but when it's a three, it really ought to fail. Mm. Looks like he gave him too much space over this side, doesn't it? With maybe yeah, way, way too so. much. Um, I mean, it also was a not a particularly brilliant piece that got served, but it. Um, you know, he's got pieces back. The problem is that Kislev can just always alter the angle as long as they can make three three pluses. Or if they're using catchers, three two pluses. Wow. Why are we... the uphill. Yeah. That is bizarre. That's a strange Classic choice. downless uh, play. What can go wrong? <laughs> oh, yeah, Dauntless. All right, fair enough. Wow. I really like that. Either. I mean, taking off the BR doesn't change much. Yes, but on a turn where it seemed if you really wanted to put another assist in and at least guarantee one die, that was very possible. Um, yeah. That, that didn't seem ideal to me. No, that seemed crap to me. <laughs> Hemlock's being massively underutilized here and also simultaneously being thrown under the bus. Yeah. Um, which is great, kill Hemlock. 
Ya que está Only One's Hemlock, todo de Jump Up está para play. Pero si conseguís nada más, matar a Killing Hemlock sería divertido, así que haz eso. Y es un factor de menos random que tengo que preocuparme durante tu viaje. También, fuck off, Tim. Sí, pero no tengo que preocuparme. Jim is a winner of his streams of being a participant in the CCL Cup. He did. He was, you know, he was there. He took part for nearly a turn. <laughs> he was uh, able to enter the free buffet and enjoy the company of the other coaches for a limited amount of time. <laughs> he got his pre show much, wanking. Much, <laughs> much more than I have achieved in Blue Ball. And with Artemis no longer doing the draw, uh, no one's pointed out or questioned uh, whether his ticket and his bus matched. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Well, there's another another of the, the big bus. things that happened in the, for the Blue Bull community where that Dimi qualified at last, so congratulations, Dimi. And Artemis is doing other things so he can feel a little happier <laughs> and stop uh, spreading toxicity around. <laughs> yeah. Because he was obviously having a very rough time with Blue Ball. Yeah. Yeah, he has been, yeah. The last few months have been a bit tough on Dimi. I was genuinely thrilled for him and still am. And I think most people were in Blood Bowl. Dimi! Secretly, Dimi's actually quite nice. Should play COD all the time with that. Oh, battle. Much healthier, isn't it, playing COD? Is it? I don't know. It's. Well, it is at least it's shorter. It's shorter, it's uh, entertaining. I play code with my friends. In, and this, in an hour of play, you get a few good matches. So, yeah. <laughs> he shouted <Yes>. at me. <laughs> Sometimes in weeks of play, you don't get good matches in Blood Bowl. Yeah, that's true. That's fucking true. Well, the... Yes, I, I do get the feeling that Art has an expected level of accomplice in Call of Duty, doesn't he? Yeah. He shouted Jimmy, but he shot me more than a few times we were in the same team, you know? Friendly fire was a, a, co a constant. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> did I ask for a fucking red easel, did you fucking moron? <laughs> <laughs> what a joke of a chip! What a joke of a chip! <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh wow, Berrettini's broken back and is leading the uh, leading the tiebreak in the in the first set. Unbelievable. Here's your update on Wimblich. Well, we have the ball based. That's yeah. um, a start. We've broken into the cage. The uh, the numbers up there are a little thin. This could be worse for Razzlestorm, but it's um. He's why are we? It worse why are we? Himself. Yeah. Why is he going over that? And he's freed two players yeah. to make a cage. Oh dear. Oh dear. Two okay. loners. Two loners that you wouldn't want to move early can now just move really, really early without any risk at all. Yeah. And here they go. It is one of the problems, problems of Zons, is that to bring other pieces up, because you're not very quick, you're probably releasing something that can also then arrive too. Wow. He should just... He, he's called Justice for HMP. He should just been like, Justice for the Bear, shouldn't he? He's <laughs> just constantly relying on the Bear. Yeah, this is glorious. Yeah, the Bear has got through a lot of work. Does he just score here? Maybe, because Zons can't two-turn easily. Yes. I mean, I, I probably would. There is starting to be enough pressure that I would be mildly concerned and thinking it's time to go in and he does i mean it is a jugger bear isn't it which i guess makes starting with it only quite terrible <laughs> yeah but it's it's not something i would be advising no but then hey, he's down tv and he feels like he's got to uh, roll the dices to win yep and it, i mean it is a strategy that will do that it, because it's juggernaut not only is it obviously less likely to uh, one in nine because it, it can't it'll one in 36 um, but it's guaranteed to move pieces and create that space, which means he doesn't have to leap around as much. So, I mean, I guess it's it's a strategy that can work here. Yeah. And, and certainly it's got him the, you know, that drive was relatively unchallenged. Yeah. 
And when he made the first feint up the right, he did return back to the bear so as not to leave it behind and trap, didn't he? Yeah. So it does look like that is a strategic choice. I'm not sure exposing his two uh, catchers here is yeah, that's a, a wise move. You know, the, that AG4 sure hands uh, side step blocker. Well, yeah. the, the Agility 4 Blitzer is a beautiful, beautiful piece. I understand why he's protecting that. Um, but suddenly he's protecting Hemlock when he didn't on the drive before, yeah. rather than the better of the two catchers. And I, yeah, I think that's a bad choice. The thing is, it's quite, it's quite good actually exposing this guy because um, he's the worst player for the zones to blitz for scoring, isn't he? You know, because if you blitz this guy, you're not yeah. getting through. Yeah, you won't make any distance. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's, that's a good reason. That's true. I like that's that. True, yeah. Like, they can't hit these two, no. obviously. So I would have still rather <laughs> have him unhittable. But they've got to hit down the sideline or they've got to hit through the middle, haven't they? And, and but, I mean, Hemlock there does the same thing, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it should have been Hemlock there, if you ask so me. So I would, I would rather expose Hemlock, I think, yes. of the two. Yeah, for sure. Now, this is always a tough choice against the Chevrons in two, uh, if you're reasonably slow. Do you try and poke a hole and go up the middle, where obviously there's an easy route, or do you try and somehow get up an edge? Um, there's the guard to get up an edge. I didn't feel this was the right sort of blocking setup to definitely be able to get through the middle, but it, it, he sort of made a hole. But he's also filled it with his own bodies, hasn't he? Yeah, some of the push directions have not been great choices. That's something you can practice and learn a bit because this is a fairly standard thing to be hitting. Well, there you go. That was a real tempter of a hit. Yeah, well, that's giving up any chance of scoring. I, I would much rather have seen it at the very least trying to go through the blitzer on the edge. Well, putting the stand firm one square further in front of that. And that way you can create more risk across here. You can still dodge that piece through, but if you've got one up the left hand flank, that one could have centralized. You know, forcing them to defend in two areas. Yeah, I mean, he could have done anything except that. <laughs> Is the short version, <laughs> isn't it? Just like... Yes, you, I mean, you're spot on, but I'm trying to sort of cover a couple of the things he might have done instead. Yeah, yeah. He, and I'm, he, I'm not sure that's a great value foul either. Mm. Although we've got a bench and they are short numbers, so perhaps yeah. that's explainable, but... I would have rather done it with a non-dirty player. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, keep that for a better, better value for now. Yeah, I think that's a, a good shout, Jimmy. But yeah, this is rough now because he's only got one scoring threat and there's a there's a diving tackle fella to mark him. Yeah. And also Hemlock's there, isn't he? It's, uh, it's brutal. So he's got... Two sidesteppers in front. Yep. Hemlock is shadows, doesn't he? And a diving tackle in the only square he can then dodge through. So this isn't looking particularly positive. No. Um, are there ways of chaining him somewhere better? No. <laughs> I mean, you can chain him into where the catcher is that's to his front right. But then he'll sidestep somewhere super annoying and you're actually not in a slightly better place. Okay. Hemlock is not shadowing. Um, that is oh, no. Skitter, isn't it? Skitter, stab, stab. Skitters, that's right. But uh, Hemlock is bodge step, which is incredible. So again, we're just going for the hit on the nice piece oh. here. And... Oh, and then going for the double well, dodges. Okay, way. double dodges that way. There was at least a route. And still is, but no, the diving tackle tackle was too much to get by twice. I mean, that was a big ask, but anything was a big ask there. Big ask. Well, it make seems the, blood, the stones... Make the Blood Bowl world go round. I have a rough second half ahead because uh, Jack still have the wizard. Yep. Yep. Kislev with a wizard. Like, Kislev are already good defensive, but then when, they, when you give them a wizard as well, <laughs> they're just completely unplayable against, I think. Um, um, yeah, Oriolen says, I, I hated that blitz too. I think it was the wrong target. Uh, the foul, yeah, I, I personally, I certainly wouldn't have done it with the DP. I'd want that to be fouling something good. Yeah. The thing is, having only two turns, we need to focus. I want to inflict pain or I want to score. You can do both. Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. Like, I don't have I was, enough time. My, my team is not fast enough. So 
I focus on scoring at any cost or I just go for the classic uh, beating down and basing, trying to get hits and whatever, and then let's hope for the second half. But trying to do both usually doesn't end very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, I, I think that's, that's very fair. <laughs> and yeah, I don't Unless definitely you are Steven or something yeah. like that, you know? I would definitely try blocking the allies properly, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and now he's got the ref just as he's lost his dirty player. Oh, boy. Oh, no, he's got another one. He's got a blood. He's got a block guard dirty player who can now foul with a bribe, I guess. <laughs> How bad do you Yes, I wonder, I wonder if we're going to see it on another loner. Maybe. It's difficult to find another target of value for that player. You did need this, to reach that player. Did this team originally have some players? <laughs> or did it come into the chalice for sort of half a dozen? It's Yak, so probably. Yeah. <laughs> probably that is didn't have any players left. <laughs> it has some decent players. That's why the Kislev needs just a few um, good players and. Sure, player. I recall reading in the books that you're pretty much supposed to try and have 11. <laughs> ah, that's the old, the old ways. It is, I am, yes. I've been called old Play, before. Playing with 11. That's so, <laughs> Again, so trusting standard. on the Dauntless there. This time it does fire. And this time he has set it up so it would have been a one die without. So that's a lot better. And now he's going to foul the bear. Now he is fouling the bear. Which, I mean, it's fair because the bear has been the whole strategy of how he drove home. Yeah. It's fair, fouling the bear. Pathetic. <laughs> But he split his own team here, hasn't he? Like, yeah, I mean, I I love the fact that he his ball is now not isolatable from his pack, but his pack is isolatable from his ball because it's just really thin up there on the line. And this is the obvious weak spot here. Like he's yep. got too much back, really. He, 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 yeah, one more should have been there. But now the level's <coughs> well, going to come pouring through. I mean, he's got enough people around the ball that was what he needs next turn, isn't it, Jim? So if you look at where the Kislev are arriving now, if the ones that are back protecting the ball pickup were in this area, where exactly, he wants yeah. to set up next turn, then it would be impossible for the Kislev to dominate it, and he would have somewhere to get the ball to. Exactly. The Kislev can't come a lot further, so he couldn't have actually cut off where he's picking the ball up from this area. <laughs> um, yep. So yeah, he's, uh, he's pulled slightly too far back by about five, six squares. Yeah. By the entire movement of the players. <laughs> and yeah, now, despite having in... plenty back there, he's now got to try and reunite the team, which there is a space to do over here. The Kislev could actually have taken control of that space a little better. They're a little tight. If only he didn't have three people stuck on the bear, eh? Yeah. Jack is aiming for the bolt the next time. Yeah, for sure. The bolt's coming, isn't it? And so is the Edge 5, man. Okay, this doesn't look like how we keep our ball safe. We're trying to screen the Kislev in. He's going to potato. He's going to pass some potato. He's going to pass some potato. That's okay. Ooh, no. No, no. no, he is. He's coming out. Okay, he's going to pass up right out to the, to the wing. Okay, that's better. Then the screen makes some sense. It's still really dodgy though, isn't it? Yeah. But he still had to come up with an answer to the problem he set himself with how he just by how he acted turn one on his pickup. Um, but screens aren't nice. very good. I mean, look, that blitzer, the agility one, comes right around the back. Okay, that go for it closes it, but it still dodges over and leaps off on 2-2. Two, two. Hemlock comes through just as easily. I mean, yeah. This There's an agility four catcher that can yeah, come through bolt. as easily. Yeah, and you bolt first, and then it's... Yeah, this is not strong. Gets the jump up stab. Woo! Failure! Oh. <laughs> it was instant death. <laughs> We're all amazed that didn't work. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm a, uh, this is a little casual for me. This is to the point of reckless. Well, we've already moved the Agility 4 Blitzer, Jim. Uh, lineman, yeah. The lineman and Hemlock. And so now the only thing going for the ball is the one Agility 4. And if it fails, then That's our whiz has been wasted. <laughs> agility 5, yes, sorry. So he, he can do a long pass. He can. Oh, he's double he wounded. There you see. Hands. And now we've only got one piece guarding the ball, and there's yeah. a chance now to have made the whiz wasted. Yeah, I agree. That was a bit. It's just a bit reckless. They just could have been another piece over there, 
before the piece that came to fetch it. Yeah. And that would look a lot stronger to me. Now, the problem is he's got line he's got loners up there and stuff and it I guess you know, it was other dice roll like obviously you'd have rather hit this guy with the Rackler, but Yeah, I'd have blitzed a hole through and got another piece, another tackle zone on that ball before going to fetch it. But I mean it, it still should have worked. But I just think it could have been done safer the turn before. The problem is I think that would have needed I think that would have needed something, you know, like a loner blocker. Right. Looking for a well, power or something, you know, like, okay. like or a three plus, like it obviously, like so, it's it it would be riskier. Or and perhaps if the hemlock stab had stab had worked, that would have given him that hole to go through. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, so they have got the ball back, but can they keep it? You don't really think so. Reckless, literally. <laughs> uh, Recklessy. This isn't stun firm, is it? No. So this is served. Mm. It's dice. What's he going to do? He's going to blitz with a bear. He's dub scold. <laughs> you, I mean, what, what, there were many other what, things to do in the stand, you know, what, trying to get the ball or something. It, There's literally not a piece further away from the ball than that. Well, that's why I wanted to get him closer to the ball, wasn't it? <laughs> but, but that would be a job of centuries. I, I don't understand, Jimmy. <laughs> well, there you go. Maybe, maybe we could call that a mistake. Maybe. <laughs> not what PC would have done, but who can say if it's right or not? I mean, not? you have a three plus to try to get the, a piece to be able to have possible. I mean, do you think that time he was just rolling a dice and activating the one that the dice said? Because <laughs> I'm just... Lot Usually I can at least find a reason, even if the reason is bad. <laughs> I can find no reason. Bears stand up just fine. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he thought it was a Minotaur. You know, who knows? <sighs> we know it's a Croxagore, but maybe he thought it was actually a Minotaur. Well, it is wearing a suit. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is looking really dodgy now. Wizards spunked. Yeah. Demon Another blitz everywhere. from the VR because jump up failure. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're looking good. No. Well, it's still a reasonably long way for the Amazons to go, but Yak's also down to just a single reroll. Yeah. Really bad. Okay, okay we're blitzing so backwards just so we can release that piece and bring it with us. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? It's not terrible. I'd prefer momentum forwards, and obviously Amazons you can dodge off, but yeah. Why? <sighs> that block was horrible. Why are we taking it? that block? When you've got your whole team ready to move forward, just move them forward without dice rolls, then you can accept that double score. And now we're not score. moving forwards at all? Because oh, we want to do a foul? Oh, Jesus, what is this madness? Well, to be fair, best possible case for him is overtime. He's got a bribe, he's got a dirty player, and that's a hell of yeah. a fucking player, isn't it? I mean, yeah, that is a it hell is. of a player. So. Yes, so leave one behind. I mean, do better work to free up the rest of your <laughs> team. Leave an assist or two behind, or foul it at this point. No, but I mean... now we, we've done it so late in our move, Jim, that despite the bribe to cover it if it was called, we haven't moved the ball forward and progressed, giving them time to reset and yeah. get some pieces yeah. back and get the bear back active, possibly, which is a worry to some degree. Yeah. It's, I, we just don't seem to have achieved anything, considering the fail state we opened that turn in. Yeah. You know, for a second I was thinking... Uh, now he can uh, blitz with the bear because I said, dear father, but no, there you go. <laughs> no, it's, it's, the bear is for blitz. It's in. But yeah, the, the thing is, Eloy's a really good catcher as well. He's still got this, this H4 as well, hasn't he? Which is a terrifying yeah. lineman, so. I don't know, like, I don't know. 
And isn't that, I don't always recognise all the little blue squares, but isn't that Rackle that that terrifying lineman has? It is, yes, yeah. Yeah, so uh, he needed to get forwards whilst he was in control of the game. And instead of giving Ori, I mean, look at this, we've got a line of uh, Kislev ushering the Amazons down the left flank where the bear can try and get back involved, where they do have someone up ahead that can leap in and take it away. They've got guard up ahead that can leap in. I, I wanted to get up there quicker while we have the element of surprise, whilst we were on top. Yes. And instead, we gave seemingly all of that up. For, admittedly a good foul, but... There were ways of doing the turn where that foul came earlier and we could sort of run the hell away afterwards. Yeah, and then could have been next turn. It could have been up here this turn. Exactly. Which, although they're just as likely to come in and sack us, that's so much further for them to, uh, you know, get it away. And anything that we can recover there, we can still instantly score. Yeah. But on the other hand, you know, <laughs> the foul could have worked, and then they're a lot less scary when they don't have an edge five leaping sure hands going to recover after they do pop it. So another bear blitz. Love to see it. <laughs> Well, to some degree, I do celebrate Yak's purity of vision here, in that he's decided until the turn that he pops the ball, the bear is what blitzes. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, right. going to blitz the hole at some point. <laughs> yeah, and if you're going to have the whole play, that's the whole play. If you've got 180 TV sitting around in a bear, well, yeah, there's having taken Juggernaut on it to make it less ridiculously risky. Why not? I suppose. Yeah. Apart from that time that it was a gazillion miles away from the ball, which was on the edge and extremely surfable. <laughs> but... Yeah, now he's going back to swap sides. Yeah, that catch has tanked some hits, has not it? It has, yeah. But now he's, he's nearly out of range, isn't he? And... Yeah, now we're short on time and... Oh, we're... With the... What? Ooh, gee, guys. This is saucy. Oh. What, this doesn't look ones. particularly safe to me. No. We could see a bear blitz on the ball. No, he's got right. No, the rattle's quite far away. He's already activated him. Yeah, the rattle's clearing the guard. I do think maybe Rackle was still the player though, the Blitz. Oh, Fermi. What? Oh, he yeah. gets the pow! Look a dog! An injury! I mean, it was two die, but that's a full on one in three needed for that pow there. <laughs> And of course, fails. the one in nine is brutal, but um, it, it all worked just fine. That is nothing like a running pout. Oh, he's moved him out. Oh, okay, he's going to pass to him there, surely. He, he rolled a one on his lead. Last reroll goes in. And he rolls a one on the dodge. Oh, brutal. <laughs> Giving the Zons a vague chance again. Yeah. How many people can score? Well, look, I'm trying to be Just Mr. Positive time. again this season, so I don't really want to say much about this game at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's got diamond tackle, so like he's got to blitz him. Oh, God, this is brutal. That was nice and sensible going in with the wrestle. That's um, probably the right thing to have done. The nicest, most sensible thing he's done all game. <laughs> Gets it. Makes the handoff. He does oh, it. Makes the dodges. He's done it. And he's home for the 1 1. Wow. <laughs> and now Yak has no re-rolls. Um, and somehow the Amazons got that done. Wow. Wow. And now 
now the foul looks pretty great, doesn't it? Because if it had worked, if it had worked, you know, that player that Yak had to win it would, wouldn't have been on, would it? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not as against the foul as you are, to be honest. I wasn't against the foul, I was against the timing of it within the turn order, Jimmy. I think if you're going to do that foul, you prioritise it and do it as about your second or third action with the bribe to cover it. All right, and then move the guys away after. And yeah, then okay. still, you've probably got five or six that can run away after it. Yeah, it fair. might mean one or two less assists on the foul, but um, yeah, it's about the turn ordering. And I think we did some nonsense in the midfield with a few hits that I didn't feel needed doing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think it was a case of too many goals for the turn. If you really wanted to do the foul, and I quite did then the foul and the move forward whereas he did some midfield hits and the foul yeah and stayed there and stayed there but he did get it done you know it got home tight as it was and you know me I over prioritise moving forwards that's become a bit of a, a known thing now yeah a little bit he does have juggernaut here so we're not going to see one turn so, but... yeah but it's it's not a frenzy is it no we're not going to see so he can only move one piece once but it does mean that he sets up a great foul, potentially, but he doesn't. And he does get a re-roll, yeah, which is huge, because now if he wins the toss, he can 2-10 yeah, easily. Uh, exactly. It, it's massive. This team can come in so light and tight, um, and both on players and re-rolls, which uh, we've never seen him do before, but uh, he's trying it out this time. <laughs> <laughs> and whilst it's very effective in the uh, in the ladder, of course, less effective in an overtime format yeah. when those rerolls have to cover two entire halves sometimes. And he has won the toss, so this looks like a pretty easy. Like it's so hard to defend against Kislev, isn't it? Like I don't know, it's it's so I mean, hard it, to defend against them. If they roll the right dice, it's it's impossible. Yeah. I mean that's true of everyone, but their right dice are reasonably low. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Particularly when they've got agility pieces on the board. Yeah. Um, particularly when you know they can dive in catch. So with an agility five piece. Now if you throw it next to him, he catches still on a two plus with reroll. Well, a normal person would. It's it's just bugged. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm saying even with the bug, it still means he does that. Yeah. 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 He's really unhappy about that bug, isn't he? <laughs> it is. It's a pretty it's terrible bug. bug. Um, if you if you if you pass a ball accurately to a square next to somebody, they should catch it on two plus with diamond catch, but they catch it on a three plus on blood ball two. Because it isn't on them, it doesn't count as accurate for some reason. Oh. Yeah. That's shit. It's as bad as the jump up for stunties, which is terrible. Yeah. And another reroll for the for Jack. Yeah. I mean, those are things people will actively want to do and should definitely have been tested. Yeah. And yeah, now all of a sudden he's got two, he's got a real for each turn, so this looks almost nailed on. Of course we've got the bear blitz. Let's go, champ. It's the power. Locking the stand firm there. And yeah. creating space. Chasm as well. <laughs> Well, and who could be firm in the side of the rushing bear? <laughs> kill it, Amazon. I would imagine only another bear. We'd all stand firm. <laughs> oh, right, so yeah, and just what do you do? Like, there's all you've got to do is dodge in, and you, you like all you can do is dodge in and hit him. That's I mean, you've got. most people here would kill Hemlock and uh, front base the ball. That absolutely won't work. So you have to hit the ball. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no matter how the shit the plan, way. hitting the ball is the only option. Yeah. And as even coming up the sideline past uh, Hemlock will still lead to the same minus three dodge. It just may as well be done off Hemlock and in. Well, what you could do is you could you could chain him, couldn't you? You could punch this guy and then blitz this guy into him. Yeah, and no, that's very doable. You're yeah, absolutely. That's him. lovely. Mm -hmm. That's a very good answer, Jim. I hadn't been looking for that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely right there. Yeah, that would have been the play. I'm pretty sure. 
it's still going to be red dice when you get there, but no, it's not. It's going to be a one die, isn't it? That's a catch. Yeah. yeah, so it's going to be a one D when you get there. But hey, that's that's better than anything else I can see. Yeah, it's better than a six plus dodge, isn't it? <laughs> it does look like that's what we're doing. We're doing it just with the blitz. Yeah. Lovely spot. He gets it. And it is a 1D. Wow, gets a card. That doesn't matter, it's alone. But he does need the power, doesn't he? Doesn't re roll it. He How do you not re roll that? Does wow. he not have any? Insta re roll. You have to re roll that. It's you have to re roll score. that. Oh dear. You have to do the re-rolls. Oh, and now it's a 2 plus the re-roll. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah he's just and out. Hey, he gets a Randor, Kaz. So yeah, leap to there and then dodge with dodge. Oh, and with the, the re-roll cover... Each of these is a 1 in 36. No, he's just done the wrong play. He's like first. He has done the wrong play. Doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. But not punished. No problem. Yeah, Blood Bowl is not about getting what you deserve. Jack went for the spectacular play, the <laughs> toxic play, and there you go. However, let's not pretend that Razzlestorm played that excellently. No. He had the chain play was really good, but not using the roll is like yeah. The chain doing? play was was beautiful, but then wasting that by not re-rolling. Yeah. Uh, changing it from a one in six to a one in three is definitely worth your last re-roll when losing is the other game state. <laughs> yes. It's just, that's yeah. not that complicated. Yeah, yeah, that was that was disappointing, but there you go. Uh, congratulations, Jack. Commiserations. Razzle Storm, thank you very much, Purple Chest and Fymir. Glorious to have you on as always. Pleasure. Always a pleasure being here. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>